The more things change, the more they remain the same. The year was 1973 when I began my career as a filmmaker. My first film, Manzile Aur Bihe, came into problem with the censors. It was refused certificate for trying to subvert the institution of marriage. After a long 30-year career in the year 1998, when I hung my gloves as a director, my film, Zakham, which was autobiographical, also ran into trouble with the censors when we had the chairperson was our dear Asha Padekji. I had to fight with the government of the day and finally release my film at huge costs. Subsequently, the film got a national award for best film on national integration, and even Ajay got an award. But what was heartbreaking was what I was subjected to. The year is 2016. India has entered a new age. There are more young people today speaking a different language, globally connected, having aspirations to match the mightiest nations in the world. On my right is Ali and Shayad, on the left is Zoya. Ekta sits behind me. They are the people who are the future, who dream larger dreams than we dreamt. All our talk of growth and progress is poppycock if the perfume of freedom which the founding fathers gifted to us is taken away. Do you want to make India into a Saudi Arabia where there's opulence, wealth, but not the most prized asset, the right to free thinking? A society that does not respect free thought sows the seeds of its own destruction. And this is what is happening. I come here to stand shoulder to shoulder with the filmmakers, and for my fraternity, and I'm very glad that such a mighty turnout is here. Because I think it's tragic that one of us, Pahlaj Nilani, till yesterday fought shoulder to shoulder with me against the laws of the censorship which impinged us. It is tragic that one of us goes and becomes the toady of some past which want to muzzle us. Nothing has changed. Nothing. In 73, my film was stopped in the emergency time. Today, it is tragic that as we inch towards release day, where the stars have gone out of the way and created a film which kind of holds the mirror, which shames our Indian society about the drug menace, is being strangulated. I think every freedom-loving individual must stand up and articulate his anger against this practice that's going on here in Bollywood. I feel the day is not far that if we keep silenced, we would not be make, allowed to make films that look beyond this, the, the, the inane films that we made way back in time when all our narratives were reduced to just a boy meets girl story and they lived happily ever after. So I stand here to appeal to you to articulate our message because this is not the industry problem at all. This is a problem of our country. And I think as Dr. Ambedkar said, that freedom is a plan that we need to water individually every day. It's not guaranteed to us when we were born as a nation. This generation now, we all need to give our contribution to preserve this freedom. And that's what we are doing. And I will fight till my last breath to preserve the freedom of free thought. This is the land of Buddha. This is the land of Gandhi. And I dare anybody who can stop me from doing that. That's all I have to say. Thank you, my friends. As a producer's guild president, I'm saying that the producer जो है जब वो फिल्म बनाता है तो उसके एक कहानी अच्छी लगती है सबसे पहले फिर उसकी उसकी जर्नी वहाँ से शुरू होती है और वो करोड़ आज के तारीख में आप फिल्म बनाने जाओ तो करोड़ों रुपए का इन्वेस्टमेंट है ये मैं 40 इयर्स से फिल्म बना रहा हूँ मैंने सिर्फ 72 फिल्म बनाई अब तक पहली हमने सेंसर के साथ हमारी काफी डिफरेंसेस हुए, मगर ये जो आज हो रहा है वो कभी नहीं हुआ। ये तो जो 10 तारीख को हमारे प्रोड्यूसर्स ने अप्लाई किया सेंसर के लिए एग्जामिनेशन कमेटी के लिए, 
दस मई को अप्लाई किया एक पिक्चर जो सत्रह जून को लगने वाली है और जो सी बी एफ सी की जो फंक्शनिंग है उन्होंने अपना पूरा दिमाग इस्तेमाल किया कि इसको कैसा पहले देखना अवॉइड करें वो डेट ही नहीं दिए कि एग्जामिनिंग कमेटी कब देखेंगे वो फाइनली दस तारीख को अप्लाई करने के बाद अट्ठारह मई को पिक्चर देखती है फिर उसके बाद वर्बली बोलती हैं कि भाई हमारे कोई डिसीशन मेंबर्स में नहीं हो रहा है कोई लिख के नहीं दे रही है ताकि अगर लिख के दे तो प्रोड्यूसर आगे बढ़ सके वो ट्रिब्यूनल के पास जाए जो एक उसके पास एक रास्ता है बचने का वो और उसको रुका गया फिर वो मजबूरन उसको आना पड़ा क्योंकि उसके पास कोई लेटर नहीं है रिवाइजिंग कमेटी जो हमारे चेयरमैन के हाथ में है रिवाइजिंग कमेटी ये पूरा एक मैनिपुलेटिव गेम एक पूरा सिस्टम एक गलावा सिस्टम एक करप्ट सिस्टम प्रिवेल कर रहा है हमारे सी में जो हमें शर्म के साथ मुझे ये कहना पड़ता है और ये जो सी की जो फंक्शनिंग है मैं उसके खिलाफ बोलना चाहता हूँ कि ये जो मैनिपुलेशन कर रहे हैं आज एक दिन दहाड़े प्रोड्यूसर को रैनसम पे होल्ड किया जा रहा है उसको आज अभी दो घंटे पहले लेटर मिला है कच्छ का आज तारीख क्या है आज आठ तारीख है पिक्चर रिलीज हो रही है सत्रह तारीख को एक हफ्ते पहले ओवरसीज की डिलीवरी देनी जा देनी पड़ती है और हमारा जो चेयरमैन है सेंसर बोर्ड का वो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री का आदमी है उसको सब पता है ये तो उसके बावजूद अगर वो कुर्सी पे बैठता है तो शर्म की बात है उसके लिए और हमारे लिए भी आई अपील टू द मिनिस्ट्री दैट ही शुड बी रिमूव इमीजिएटली एंड आई सेज इन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द एंटायर फिल्म इंडस्ट्री एज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द फिल्म प्रोड्यूसर गिल्ड ऑफ इंडिया द फिल्म इंडस्ट्री डजेंट वॉन्ट पैलाज जलानी टू सेट बिकॉज ही डजेंट डिजर्व टू बी सेटिंग दैट्स ऑल आई टू से तो राइट नाउ दैट दिचुएशन ऑफ द फिल्म एंड आई थिंक वी शुड स्टार्ट एक एक करके एक सेकेंड एक सेकेंड द मोस्ट बिफोर यू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन द पॉइंट दैट स्ट्रक मी वाइल अनुराग वॉज टॉकिंग एंड सुधीर वॉज टॉकिंग इज द डेंजरस ट्रेंड ऑफ प्री सेंसरशिप दैट विल स्टार्ट टेकिंग a kind of a major space of our writers and our directors and the producer pre censorship ka jo mahol jo banta hai to writer director producer apne zehen mein ek thought ke janam se pehle hi uska maar dalta hai aur koi bhi azad samaj mein jahan par aapke zehen ke andar ek policeman baith jaye phir us samaj ko azad kehlane ka haq nahi hai There is no freedom without free thought. ये बहुत important है We must all fight against this trend of free censorship, which is being created by these examples of what they are being played out with Uttar Pradesh. That's it. The light of what Anurag has said, I want to ask Anurag a very interesting question, and which very important for all of you to know because I want to call the bluff of Mr. Pallaj Jalani, his vicious way of uh, moving things, uh, you know. I want to ask him a very simple question in front of the media. Today is what's the date today? Everybody knows, eighth of June. I want to know when and how much time does it take for the CBFC to send that letter to FCAT, and when will FCAT receive that letter? He has this very interesting modus operandi of keeping the letter in his drawer. He will never give you the cuts. Everything is verbal, so that he can. misinterpret tell lies to cover up the way he wants to do things which he is doing up till now yeah the previous I letter is still in the it speed post after 10 days yes yeah, so that's what i'm saying all you know he'll wake up on the 26th of june and send decide to send the letter when there is some letter coming from the some the high court or something like that till the time you don't push things and he finds that his intention is only to do harm to the industry and a person who is a roadblock and not a facilitator should be removed that is something intolerable unacceptable to the film fraternity and we want him out because his moves are malicious vicious he is conniving in every act of his he will delay the process and in the process i know i am a film maker i am a producer the film is exposed to a minimum 60 crore rupee loss who is going to pay this the government is going to pay this the cbfc is going to pay this is a fundamental question i'm asking ekta kapoor and phantom have invested 
60 crores or rupees. Who is going to pay this? I want Pella Jalai to answer this. He is a film, being a filmmaker, he knows the amount of money that is riding on a film. This is unpardonable kind of exploitation and you know holding a ransom done by the state organization. In broad daylight, we have held at a ransom and this is absolutely appalling and we will not take this anymore. Period. Full stop.